in the southernmost area of Europe, sits one of the most recognizable countries. It's famous for a multitude of good reasons, including world-renowned art, a stunning fashion scene, amazing landscapes, intense and deep cultural heritage, and cuisine like no other. There's a ton of things to see and do in this place that it would take a lifetime to explore. So we're here to give you guys a glimpse of one of the most unique travel destinations in the world. Buckle in your seatbelts, gather your travel buddies, and get ready to go on an adventure to the top 10 best places to visit in Italy. Number 10. One of Italy's most visited tourist destinations, Pompeii was a famous Roman city that was actually buried completely under volcanic ash that was nearly 1700 years ago, after the destructive eruption of Mount Vesuvius. In 1748, the excavation of Pompeii started, and while that's going on, the site is actually not even fully unearthed yet. Located close to Naples, a tour of Pompeii would give you a deep meaningful insight into what the culture was with the people before the devastation. You will be able to take a sightseeing walk to discover the different buildings, like the bakeries, brothels, and even the baths. Nine. Being Italy's most famous region, the area offers endless rolling hills, olive groves, and vineyards that stretch for miles. Along with that, a forest of cypress trees to get lost in. The simplest things in life are the best way to enjoy traveling. From wine tasting to art viewing or just relaxing in the hillside cities is definitely not a bad choice. If you're diving into the art world, then go right ahead and step into the Renaissance art in Florence. You can also visit the medieval city of Siena that holds an amazing collection of art while its historic center is one of the most visited attractions in the area. The largest Tuscan island, Elba, offers travelers great beaches to relax in while Pisa is world-renowned for, of course, its leaning tower. As one of Italy's busiest metropolitan cities, Naples is the capital of the Campania region in the southern part of Italy. The trend of Italy having a vast and spectacular history is very present in this city with artworks and historic sites aplenty. But don't let the history and culture fool you, Naples has an array of modern shops, restaurants, and even nightlife ventures for you to take part in. Naples is the origin to many globally renowned dishes we've come to love such as pizza, pasta, and parmigiana. Although these dishes are taken more seriously here in Naples than in other parts of the world, and they normally feature fresh locally grown ingredients, being close to nearby areas like the Bay of Naples and Pompeii, this city of buzzing sights and sounds is a perfect spot to put up a base of operations while having adventures in the area. Seven. As the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, Sicily is an autonomous region of Italy that includes several smaller islands. Sicily is actually close to the mainland region of Calabria, being only separated by the two-mile Straits of Messina. As with the trend that Italy has, Sicily is rich in art, history, and the Mediterranean civilization. From the Valley of Temples to the Great Baroque Churches, the island's most stunning geological feature is for sure Mount Etna, which is Europe's tallest active volcano. Six. 
6. This reconstructed city of Milan, located in the northern part of Italy, was almost unrecognizable as it was nearly destroyed from heavy bombing during World War II. As one of the greatest comeback stories ever told, Milan has become one of the richest cities in Europe and is regarded as the mega fashion center filled with designer shops attracting travelers from every inch of the world. On the other hand, many tourists are drawn to the historical art pieces like The Last Supper, which is Leonardo da Vinci's famous artwork, the La Scala Opera House, the Castello Forzesco, often described as the less Italian than the other regions and areas of Italy, Milan clearly has both classic and modern works of art that slither all around the city. Five. Stretching across northern Italy, the Italian Lake District has its southern side, which is mostly flat ends, with the northern side being extremely mountainous as lakes end and the Alps begin, creating a beautiful boundary of nature. The district has been popular with travelers for over a hundred years now, where the Italian lakes combine amazing weather with breathtaking views. Garda being among the most largest lakes, it offers stunning scenery, especially with the mountain stretches across the north. Equally as stunning, Como has slopes that have been draped with forests rising directly from the water's edge. Far west, Maggiore is less popular but just as stunning, with many popular family resorts ready to accommodate. Four. Comprising of five villages, Sincatere actually means five lands, consisting of villages of Rio Maggiore, Manarola, Vernaza, Monteresso, and Cornelia. Located in the northwestern region of Liguria, the villages feature some of Italy's most breathtaking landscapes that include steep cliffs, wine terraces that are hundreds if not thousands of years old, having pride in its old and unique complex of hiking paths, that lead to one of the most jaw-dropping coastal views any country has to offer. The famous Blue Trail connects all five villages and is usable for travelers of all ages, and it definitely connects adventurers to the beautiful landscapes. Three. Spotted in the southwestern region of Campania, Amalfi Coast is famous for its unique and special kind of beauty that makes the coast one of Italy's most traveled destinations. Spanning 30 miles alongside the Sorrento Peninsula, Amalfi Coast is most prized for its picture-perfect coastlines that glorifies its beauty. From dazzling bays, sharp cliffs, lemon tree gardens, dramatic villas, and glamorous resorts, the coast definitely has a lot to offer. Being one of the most romantic and upscale towns along the Amalfi Coast is Positano, with its stunning beaches, houses, and breathtaking beautiful mountains. Two, being one of, if not the most beautiful city destinations in Europe, Venice is most arguably one of a kind. Built on a lagoon surrounded by the Adriatic Sea, Venice is located in the northeastern area of Italy, being an archipelago of about 118 islands, connected by stunning bridges and scenic canals. Speaking of canals, the Grand Canal is the most well-known, dividing the city into two sections. Brimming waterways and architectural marvels, Venice truly is one of the most romantic destinations for any traveler in the world. Commonly crowded, but well worth the visit to get a glimpse of the magnificent landmarks like St. Mark's Square, the Basilica, the Dog's Palace, and the Rialto Bridge. 
of the many activities Venice has to offer, by far the most popular one is taking a gondola ride along one of the many eye-catching canals. One, former capital of the Roman Empire, Rome is the government seat and capital city of Italy today. Located in Italy's central region Lazio, Rome is a complex and stunning city that's both modern and ancient alike, most famous for their ancient Roman structures and even the Vatican City. Rome has survived for more than 2,500 years as the most important center for culture, religion, and power. From the romantic plazas to the stunning cathedrals with the Renaissance architecture to boot, there is absolutely so much to see, eat, and do in Rome, so much so that it would take months if not years to bask in all of the beauty Rome has to offer. Now you're set, definitely a sight to behold and experiences to engrave in your memory book. These are just the top 10 of the most amazing places to travel and tourist destinations that Italy has to offer. We hope that this insight into Italy has been helpful and help you plan out your next vacation destination. Then go ahead and leave a like to the video and subscribe for more travel tips, guides, and the like. With that, until next time.